Yeah, he's absolutely available for this weekend. Um, and he's, he's come through the last couple of days really well. So uh, preparations are going very well for Friday night. And um, yeah, orgy has been in good nick and he's up for selection along with the other 55 odd players that we have available to us at the moment. It's exciting to have him back around the place. Obviously, he's a world-class player, you know, World Cup winner. So just the energy he adds, the experience he adds, even in, um, you know, reviews and stuff like that. Just uh, he really has an awful lot of knowledge that we can we can draw on. And uh, he's a very interesting guy to, to pick brain, prick his brain. And um, his experiences and his examples will be really good for us going forward. So, yeah, very exciting to have him back. And look, as I said, we'll we'll sit down and pick the team in the afternoon now. But look, he's, he's, he's there for selection. He's available for selection. So we'll see how that goes. We approach this, approach this week on week. We're very focused on the task in hand, the next battle, the next job. And um, that's, that's the Natalie Scarlets this week. And um, they've been playing very, very well. A uh, very good attacking team. Loads of talent in terms of pace and the ability to play. So, um, you know, we've got to focus and get that job done really, really well on Friday night in Cork. And look, hopefully we'll get a big crowd there to support us. We're going to need all that you know, that, that vocal support that the Cork crowd bring and um, look, it'll be a big night for us, but hopefully we can start with putting in a good performance. Yeah, it's great to get these boys back from camp and again, bringing back the experiences that they've had and, and they've added um, so much in the last couple of days and, and the boys trained very well today. Um, look, we've got, we've got Jack Crowley returning, we've got Gavin, we've got Roman Salanawa to, to mention three. You know, these guys coming back is very exciting. Look, we'll sit down and see what uh, the team is later on today. But look, with Gavin, he's he's in great form. Uh, he understands he needs to be patient. He's he's working really hard on the aspects that he's been given to work to work on. And it's just a, a, been a patient game. We're blessed with so many talented back rows in Irish rugby. And 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 Gav understands that. Look, it's about his day to day. It's about you know putting together a body of work that's really strong, improving in his contact area and around the tackle uh, and, and stuff like that and, and how, how he moves and um, you know Gav is well up for that and he's a really good learner he's a guy that's applying himself really well so yeah he's, he's just got to be patient and uh, I, I honestly believe he's got a big future ahead of him oh, the, these guys I think have won something like seven on the bounce um, you know in terms of um, all competitions so they've, they have a real habit of winning um, just analysing their ability in terms of, of of how they offload the speed they play at their transition game it's so strong so when the ball when the ball is turned over or if you kick loosely their ability through Johnny McNichol you know um, Fafita you know, Luisi these sort of guys they were exceptional talents um, Calamaphoni is another guy we're going to have to be on high alert with so they have loads of names and loads of ability and uh, th their tendency to score a lot of points is definitely evident you can't shy away from the fact that he, he's had a horrific time since he's come to Munster in terms of his injuries. Uh, but I think he's added to us as a squad over the last number of years in different ways. I think, look, he's a World Cup winner and uh, off the pitch as a second row, I've learned a lot from him. Uh, he's been very helpful to, to younger lads coming through and he's quite a positive figure, even though he's had a tough time. You know, uh, when the team is going well and things like that, he gets behind us. And when the team is going poorly, he's a man to pull you up. Like, even when he's not playing himself, he's, he's been a great character around the building. And it's just fantastic for him to be back on the pitch um, and doing what he loves, playing rugby and uh, getting his opportunity at the weekend, hopefully, uh, coming back to, to Munster and playing in Cork. You know, maybe the last six to eight weeks before I, I came back, I was doing a lot of skills beside the pitch and lads who were subbing in and out of the team, they'd come over and do skills with us and just the pace that we were moving at, the training intensity, you could just see that we were continuously building and building and building and thankfully, you know, over the last couple of weeks, things have started to click and uh, I think confidence wise, you know, we're very confident in our D and we're very confident in our attack now and um, as you say, like, you know, we're playing totally different rugby to, to, to what we did back in, back in those every days and in the first couple of, couple of weeks of the season and uh, I suppose, yeah, I have seen it gradually build on because I've been kind of watching from the sideline and it's a bit easier when you're, when you're taken out of it and you're watching a team develop, it's easier to, to, to see it rather than when you're in it, uh, it's, quite, it's, it's hard to see the continuous improvement. But from the outside, definitely a person who hasn't played or hadn't played in, in that couple of months, I could definitely see a massive improvement in 
the way we're training it and the way we're, we're transferring that on to, to game day. Yeah, everyone's just chomping at the bit. Like, uh, I think, look, training has been at a very, very, very high level and intensity over the last couple of weeks, even our weeks off. You know, everybody wants to play. Everybody's keen to play. Everyone wants to add something to this team. And, uh, you know, we're just so lucky that um, lads are coming back from injury and, and lads are, are keen to get back into the squad. And obviously, we've got those lads returning from the Six Nations in a couple of weeks and they can only add to the, they'll only add to the squad. And, you know, the level of training we're training at at the moment uh, and those lads coming back, we're hopefully in a couple of weeks, uh, you know, we can really push on again. Yeah, look, they're a team that are, as you say, definitely in form. Um, I think they're, they're outside backs uh, and some of their, their offloading ability in the forwards gives them great opportunity and counter-attack. I think any snap uh, attack, you know, uh, any turnovers, uh, they're hot on it and, and they somehow seem to uh, make things happen out of nothing. And, and that's for us, we've got to, if we turn over the ball or... Uh, if we're kicking long onto them or, or we end up you know, turning it over in the line-out or a scrum, we've got to, to snap into a defence mindset straight away. That's probably their, their biggest threat is that, that ability to offload, offload out of contact and counter-attack.